Some construction firms in Singapore say they have gotten their workers poached by other firms. This as competition for foreign workers in the construction industry heats up with manpower in short supply because of border closures. Employment agencies are offering to pay up to 50% more to rest workers from the current firms. Chloe Chu with more. There's much building to be done, but not enough hands to go around. And so, the hunt is on for migrant workers already in Singapore to fill these construction roles. Some firms are now so-called poaching workers from other sites to get their projects off the ground. This amid a foreign manpower shortage because of strict border controls. One company had its workers taken away. There is a depletion of uh, the numbers because uh, continuously you have people going back for whatever reasons, it may be family or, or, or whatever. Initially, even with the borders open, we could hardly replace the people that are going back. I guess with the uh, demand more than supply, people are eager to get workers. Then that's how uh, poaching comes about. There are a lot of agents that are on the ground that they go around uh, uh, through their own network, but sometimes going down on the ground. All kinds of workers are in demand, from low-skilled to more experienced workers and across different job scopes. So I've just gotten off the phone with some workers and they say they've been approached by agents offering them a higher pay at their construction sites. For others, it's through word of mouth and apparently it's a hot topic in dormitory canteens these days. Employment firms also say a lot more workers have been seeking transfers lately because of better wages. According to MOM rules, these moves are allowed 40 to 21 days before a work permit expires. CNA understands that many firms don't renew these documents until the 11th hour, and that leaves their workers open to enticing offers from other firms. Still, some are staying away from so-called poaching since this will hurt the entire industry in the long run. It's a zero-sum game. Just the total numbers within the system is actually finite. So, I mean, uh, at the end of the day, if you don't have uh, uh, injection to the system, the, the numbers, uh, it will just spiral up the, the cost. That's why I think uh, as an industry, we need to manage this uh, 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 correctly. Firms also say money alone won't solve anything in the long term. What's needed is actual boots on the ground.